Thank you for joining CNC Fun Time Reading. Today we're going to read Puppy Dog Pals Adventures in Puppy Sitting. One morning, Bob wakes up puppies with some good news. Morning, Sleepy Snouts. Guess what, guys? My friends just got a new puppy named Baby. Baby? Bingo and Rolly think that's a funny name for a puppy. She doesn't want the puppy to get lonely while she's at work. So I said Baby can stay here with you today and you can keep her company. The pups think that is a great idea. As soon as Bob leaves to get Baby, Bingo looks at Rolly. Let's get ready. Their mission, to be the best puppy sitters ever. Let's give Baby her own dish, you know, to help her fill at home, Rolly suggests. Bingo finds a small teacup to use as Baby's bowl. If we each share a few of our kibbles, that'll fill her up. Rolly looks at his brother. What else do great puppy sitters do? They're good at making sure puppies get naps, Bingo says. We need to find a spot for Baby's nap time. From the bookshelf, Hissy chimes in. Baby could sleep in one of Bob's shoes. That's what you two goofballs used to do. Rolly smiles as he remembers sleeping in Lofi, Bob's old loafer shoe. The puppies go searching for it in Bob's closet. Next, they decide to gather some toys for Baby to play with. Rolly wonders what kind of toys little puppies like. Hissy looks down at them. Okay, first of all, you're still puppies. Rolly shakes his head. We mean when we were littler puppies. We get a little bit less little every day. Hissy points out a photo. Well, you love that squeaky toy. I used to throw it for you to fetch when I was bored. Bingo's eyes grow wide. You mean Mr. Mousy? I haven't seen that toy in forever. The pups run to find Mr. Mousy. They know Baby will love it too. Just then, the pups hear the front door open. They run over, excited to meet little Baby. But when the new puppy walks through the door, Bingo, Rolly, and Hissy are in for a great big surprise. Little Baby is a gigantic Great Dane puppy. Bingo looks up, way up, at the new arrival. Whoa! That's one big baby. Rolly shakes his head. She is not going to fit in that shoe. After Bob leaves for work, Baby starts whimpering and crying, but Bingo and Rolly know just what to do to make the puppy feel better. Don't worry, it's our mission to be the greatest puppy sitters ever. Bingo nudges Mr. Mousy towards Baby. She sniffs it and gives it a lick, and in three seconds, Mr. Mousy is completely covered in slobber. Rolly realizes they have to find something else for Baby to do before the living room gets completely ruined. I know what I always want to do, eat. The pups lead Baby into the kitchen and offer her the small teacup of food they had prepared. But Baby devours her food in one bite and then finishes Bingo's and Rolly's bowls too. Bingo and Rolly decide to teach Baby some tricks in the backyard. Bingo picks up a stick. This is called fetch. I throw the stick and Rolly brings it back. Bingo throws a stick across the yard. Ta-da! Rolly drops it in front of Baby. Now it's your turn, Baby. Bring back the stick. Bingo picks up the stick again and throws it. Not even Baby can make a mess of playing fetch in the backyard. Or can she? Instead of fetching the stick, Baby comes back with an entire tree in her mouth. Rolly looks at his brother. If we stay here, Baby might destroy the whole yard. Then I think really great puppy sitters would take a puppy to the dog park. Let's go, Bingo says. At the dog park, Baby runs around excitedly as Bingo and Rolly show her all the neat stuff there is to do. But suddenly, the pup sees something flying through the air. Stick! They yell. Bingo and Rolly take off after it. Baby starts to follow them, but then she hears a squeak and runs in the opposite direction. Across the park, Baby has spotted a squeaky stuffed toy and ran over to play with it but the squeaky toy belongs to Cupcake. What's the big idea? That's mine. Cupcake grabs the other end of the toy and pulls. Baby playfully tugs back until Cupcake narrows her eyes and growls. Baby quickly lets go. Meanwhile, the pups realize Baby is gone. They look all around the dog park, but Baby is nowhere to be seen. Cupcake walks over to them. 
Are you looking for that big drooly puppy that tried to take my toy before she ran out of here? Rolly nods and asks, which way did she go? Cupcake just shakes her head. Only you two could lose the biggest puppy in the dog park. Then occurs the bingo. She is the biggest. Rolly, we just have to follow the biggest paw prints. Rolly looks down and spots a large paw print in dirt. Like this one? He asks. Exactly like that one, Bingo says. Bingo and Rolly follow the paw prints out of the park. Then they follow the prints and slobber through the neighborhood until they realize they are headed straight for their house. Back at the house, the pups are delighted to find Hissy playing fetch with Baby and Mr. Mousy. I've got to admit, it is kind of fun to have a puppy around the house to play this game with again, Hissy tells her brothers. Rolly grins. You know, we're still puppies too. I mean, Bingo adds, we're still a little bit little. Hissy shrugs. Then get in this game. There's room for two more. Later, when Bob gets home, the house is quiet. He finds all the animals snuggled up together. Bob smiles at Bingo and Rolly. Wow, the puppy really tuckered you out, huh? Bingo and Rolly simply open their eyes. Looks like you guys ended up being great puppy sitters. Mission accomplished. Thank you for joining CNC Fun Time Reading. Stay tuned for some more reads.